Today I'm going to show you some great ways to break the ice at a party. Today we're going to cover some helpful ways to start conversations. Now we've all been to those parties where we know maybe three people in the crowd and then somebody always starts in with the introductions but then sometimes they leave you alone with this unknown person to fend for yourself like a baby turtle making its way to the ocean before it gets eaten by a seagull. So you're on your own. What do you do? You could listen to them drone on about their profession or their weekend, sure, but in doing this you seem to get, you start to get lost in the shuffle of all of the people your thoughtless friend introduced you to that night. Or you can stand out using one of the suggestions I'm about to tell you. Number one, what does your name mean? Now, this is a really cool one that I use personally because it, it only works if they use if they have a unique or ethnic sounding name, but it's really cool because it shows them that you're interested in them personally, and also it makes you sound slightly more profound, I think. That's just my opinion. Number two, what hobbies do you like to do or what do you like to do to relax? This tells the person that you know a person is more than their secular work. We sometimes get lost in our secular work and that's pretty much all we define ourselves by, but taking this step shows the person that you know that they aren't their profession and they love talking about this Everybody loves to talk about what they love to do, and so you get brownie points for asking these questions. Number three, how do you know the host? Whether or not the host isn't the animal that left you high and dry, this is actually a great opener because it prompts them to tell about the story of how they met the person, in turn telling you about themselves, something about themselves personally. So these are my three suggestions of how to break the ice and expand your social circle. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more of these videos because it was kind of fun to do this research and if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and Friday and also I wanted to um, I wanted to introduce a friend of mine uh, who has this awesome business and so I will and she gave me a video that I'd like to show you now Roll the clip. What's up, everybody? I am author C. Pentakoff, fiction author and owner and founder of A Novel Connection. I'm coming back at you guys this week with more new releases in the ANC library. Okay, let's get started with our first one. Our first one is um, a young adult book, and uh, fantasy is its subgenre. It's called Lizzie in the Land Beyond by, I so apologize to the author because I know I'm going to slaughter your name, but Susan McDonough Watchman. If you saw the way it was spelt, you'd understand. Um, hopefully I didn't slaughter her name. Okay, so their one-liner is hijacked by witches. Will Lizzie ever get home? Uh, this, in this story, Lizzie wakes up in another land and is told that she can't go back home because she was hijacked right before she was about to die. Can't wait to read that one. It sounds really good. 
So, uh, again, that's Lizzie in the Land Beyond by Susan McDonough Watchman. Okay, here's the cover, and then we're going to move on to the next book. Alrighty, our next book is called Summer of Love, Lips and Verse. Now, this is a collection of poetry, um, love poems, by the way. This is by Charles Edward York. He actually currently has four um, poetry collections on our website under the Alternative Reads section. So if you're into poetry, which I am, I love poetry, go ahead. He's a very talented poet. Um, he also has a few other on there, like I said. One of them is political. You should go check it out. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the cover, and then moving on to the next book. Our next book is 2327. That's the title, 2327 by H.L. Roberts. This is a young adult book, and its subgenres are suspense, romance, and drama. Here's their one-liner. For now, the only thing that matters is the truth. Okay, um, this is a story about the pressures of fame, and one female rock gu guitarist, uh, I'm sorry, one female rock singer, excuse me, spills all the secrets on a Facebook live stream. Okay, so I'm super excited to read this book. It looks really good, looks suspenseful. I like suspenseful books. I'm going to show you guys the cover again. The book is 2327 by H.L. Roberts. Going to show you the cover, and then we're going to move on to the next book. Okay, so our last new release of the week can actually be found in our Kitty Connection. It is a children's picture book, and it is called Not Again! The Adventures of Brianna and Allison. Now, this is a really cute one. Um, what I think is really special about it is that the two main characters, the two little girls, Bran and Allison, are actually her daughters. Super cute. Um, I love it when people put personal things like that into books. Um, it makes it more special reading it. My boys really enjoyed it, especially because I think they're two brothers. Maybe not sisters, but they're two brothers who are close in age. Um, so they could relate. They thought it was cute. I thought it was cute. Um, your kids will love it. That is all the new releases I have for you guys this week. But uh, while I still have you here, make sure you go to a novelconnection.com slash cover contest. Go vote for your favorite young adult slash adult covers in each genre. Okay, vote. And also go and vote for your favorite children's book covers in each genre. That's a novelconnection.com slash cover contest children. Okay, um, and also make sure you go subscribe to A Novel Connection. A Novel Connection is completely revolutionizing the way that readers read and the way that writers build their career as an author, the way that scouts, we're talking publishers and agents, find new clients, okay? Um, we have so many plans at A Novel Connection um, for the future. Um, for the entire indie author community, not just for authors with ANC, I am going to make indie books mainstream. Okay, and um, I'm completely 100% funded by readers. Um, so in order for a novel connection to reach its full potential, we need more subscribed readers. So go to www.anovelconnection.com slash subscribe, and you have access to our entire library of books, um, depending on whether you go for the Reader Connection or the Kitty Connection. Reader Connection is young adult and adult books. Kitty Connection is obviously children's books talking picture books, middle grade chapter books. Um, so, yeah, we're talking $1.99 a month, $2 per month. And you are not only getting an awesome library of books to read for free, but you get unlimited downloads. You are helping indie authors, okay? They're, uh, we're 2 bucks a month. Do it. So that is my friend... C. Pentakoff, she's, it's a new business, but it's going to be really awesome, I think, and if you would like to check that out, I'll put the link in the description, and uh, just 
subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and Friday. And check out my website below because I've got some new merch coming in. And I know you will not want to miss it. it. It's awesome. I'm so excited. So I will see you guys Monday.